Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 3 of our Dungeon 3D actual play. Uh, last time, uh, Miri continued to examine the uh, room that she woke up in, in the coffin. She found a corpse. She found a gravestone. I puked. Uh, she, she didn't do that. <laughs> she puked a bunch into the well because she fe found out that she'd been fed possibly even fed blood and a whole bunch of alchemical ingredients. Yeah. Um, and that is where we are picking up where we left off. Uh, she also got some loot from the crate, found out that she was basically a mail carrier, and, uh, yeah. And uh, fully explore this room. You have, there is nothing else for you to do in here. Yep. Um, I, I am, uh, well, now that I've explored everything in here, I'm gonna head over to that door. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, I mean, I've made so much racket in here that I would assume if anybody had heard it, they would have come in. Uh, so I, I'm guessing there's probably not anybody right directly outside the door, but I am going to go ahead and, like, put an ear up against it. Okay. Once you stand in front of the door, I need you to make a reflex save. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Actually, no. You don't need to make a reflex save. Oh, no. Um, my reflex sucks. That is a 17 to hit. Oh dear, uh, that does not, is that just against my armor class? Yes. No, that does not hit. Alright, so when you, when you step in front of the door, your foot briefly catches on something, but because you're not looking for it, you snap the wire, and you hear a thwip, and then an arrow whizzes by you from the opposite wall, and then you hear a cranking noise. Oh gosh, uh, she steps back and she looks down at it. She looks at the arrow, and she kind of glares at the door and says, Crap, it's trapped. And she's going to see if she can disarm it. Okay, um, you can go ahead and... Bless you. I was trying to warn you. <laughs> you can go ahead and make a... Disa if you have disabled device, which I don't think in Pathfinder you can use disabled um, device. No, I have knowledge dungeoneering. I don't know if that might help me figure something uh, out. Sure, I will let you go ahead. I have survival. Roll. I have one point in survival. I have engineering. You can do a... Um, so you can't use disabled device untrained, but you. I will allow a um, roll of dungeoneering. Okay, dungeoneering. Uh, do you want? Okay, knowledge. Okay, so that's plus six. Uh, seventeen. Cool. Um, so you know that uh, when you when you hit the trip wire, um, the trap is armed somewhere else to go off, but this part of the trap is broken. So if I hit the trip wire again, I'm not going to set it off. Again. You broke it. It's it's damaged. Oh, okay. It's, so just, it's, I this, brute force... this section of the trap goes off one time. Okay, so I just brute force basically destroyed it. Yes, but the yeah. cranking you heard is the trap arming itself somewhere else in this area. Oh, who knows? There might be another wire. Correct. Can I do... Is it a perception check? It would be a perception check, yes. Okay, to see if I can find out where else it might be. Correct. Doing naughty things at. Oh gosh, that's eight. <laughs> um, as far as you can tell, you look back and forth, you look around, you look up, you look down, you, you do not see any other trip so, wires. So I know there's something going on here, I just don't know where. That is correct. Um, I'm going to guess maybe if I open the door, that might be, be what will trigger it. So I'm going to. She's going to move over here in the corner. And then um, she's going to kind of, like, reach to the side for the doorknob and kind of turn it. And okay. And see what happens and, like, maybe gently start pulling it open. Just very carefully seeing if she hears any kind of click or anything. Uh, when you when you turn the doorknob and start to pull it, you do hear the sound of a of something tightening. She stops. <laughs> <laughs> Is there, like, a little crack I could peek through? Sure. Okay. You want, you want me to roll everything for that, or? Nope. We will just do a little bit of that. Oh. Oh, no. That is what you see on the other side of the door. Um, these skeletons do not look like other... You are a, you are a seasoned, well-traveled adventurer. Oh, yeah, I, I... But these do not yeah. look like skeletons you've ever seen before. These skeletons have red bones, and they have a sack of meat in their torso area. That's like it's like a transparent membrane, and like there's this red rusty liquid that's sloshing around in this membrane, 
and it's a bunch of the alchemical ingredients you upchucked into the well. Should I surmise that if I hit one of them, it might like explode into goopy, goopy? You could not surmise that. No. Okay. Well, she's gonna think that might be the case. <laughs> <laughs> they look like they might go kablooey. Hmm. So if I open the door, it's gonna set up a trap, but I can't disarm it because I'm too dumb. <laughs> I do I see that um grave marker right there? What grave marker? Outside the door, there's like a grave. Oh yes. Okay, a headstone thingy. Yes, the gravestone. Yes, you do see that. Um, I, I'm gonna check my inventory. See if I have anything I can throw or. Uh, if I have any skills other than just smacking things, which I really doubt. <laughs> um, I don't think I have. I don't have anything in my inventory at all. I just have. Okay, she's a fighter. She's she's a, she's just, she's not smart, but she's strong. So um, she is gonna go pick up the headstone that was probably meant for her. Okay. She's gonna grab that. Can she carry that? Uh, make a strength check. Okay. So let's see. I. Uh, okay, so plus seven, right, very much, okay. 26. Yeah, yeah, you easily put both hands on the headstone, and with your girl boss arms, you just lift that headstone up over your head. I'm gonna take it over here. I'm gonna line myself up at the door like a freaking baseball dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm, she's going to chuck it with all her might at the door, and then gonna try to dodge to the side. So you hurl them in. <laughs> okay, this is how we just are draft when you're a fighter. <laughs> the, tra the, the headstone goes through the door, so the, draw the door is reduced to splinters. Um, the arrow trap goes off. Now, you, can, you can't you can see this, but the arrow trap... Uh, actually, you can see this because you made a marker. The arrow trap comes from that wall. Oh, okay. And goes... And goes this way. So I luckily I'm right outside of Yeah. So you hear the thwip and you hear the crank and then the arrow sticks into the wall opposite from opposite wall right next to the shackles. Okay. And then as the door is reduced to splinters, you hear the <laughs> sound of the of the skeleton is now made aware of your presence inside. Okay. So they haven't seen her yet though, right? No, but they did see a gravestone that was basically hurled yeah. through the, the wall. <laughs> they door. know somebody, they know she's up, but they don't know what's going on. Okay, so, um, she is going to, she knows that they're probably going to come in here. She's going to have to get the jump on them. So she's going to come over here and hide against the wall, and she's going to, is it a, can I try to, like, surprise them if they step through, but, like, to attack them? Mm. If one of them does? Um... Yes, but despite that being hurled through the door and their initial shock, you don't hear any other sound coming from the room. So they're not shuffling towards me. You do not. You do not think they are shuffling towards you. No. So Mary just stands in front of her at the ready, like she's With got a sword her in her hand. Just <laughs> she's at the ready. She stands there for a minute. It's really quiet. She kind of like hesitates and then she peeks around the corner of the door. Yeah, they're just still standing there in their same Oblivious? spots. Okay. Yeah. She kind of looks confused and like she's going to. Are they, okay, if she walks in there, they'll see her. Yes. She's going to grab the a uh, piece of the bottle that she threw earlier, and she's going to chuck it into the room and see if they react to it. Ting 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 ting. <laughs> they just snarl. Yeah, they just snarl. They look. They look at the glass shard, move like they're going to move up to it, and then lose interest in whatever it is. So, in Mary's very smooth brain, she's pausing. She's like, they must only go after people. So, with this bright idea, she goes and takes that corpse, that skeleton over there. Uh-huh. And she is going to use her sword like a puppet stick. 
Okay. And she is going to put it on the tip of her sword. <laughs> so she's just going to jam this torso yeah. on there and hold it outside yes. the door and wiggle it. Yes, exactly. So you do this, you jab the corpse onto the sword, you shove it out she's the like, door, I'm so sorry. you wiggle it, and. Okay, are they coming at it? And that is where we're going to end episode three. <laughs> of our dungeon 3d actual play um as always this is your first time joining us please check out episodes one and two these will come out every monday through friday at 2 p.m mountain standard time sunday is our build video saturday may be our uh showcase where we talk about new features of the program but thank you all so much for watching and have a good day bye